Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video here on Electronic Idiots. And I'm in a festive mood. Yes, Christmas is only a few weeks away and I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate that by opening some new product out by Tops. Every year they release it and every year I buy it. It's the new 2021 Tops Holiday Series Mega Boxes. Yes. Every year I love to buy these because I, I like the alternate arts that they or alternate arts. This isn't Pokemon, this is this is baseball now, guys. But uh, I love the alternate cards uh, with the uh, with the snowflakes and everything on them, and uh, I like the parallels with all the uh, the candy cane, the snow. Last year's was cool. Uh, I opened some last year, and I really liked what they did, uh, replacing bats with candy canes, the belts with the candy cane and uh, everything else uh, so anyways i'm here with my buddy flint and we're all festive we're all decked out in our holiday best and we're gonna enjoy opening two boxes two boxes is smooth that's the opens of boxes is. yeah two boxes of the 2021 tops updates or not up to, i am all over the place huh? mega holiday box so anyway flint he's gonna go over here and daddy has to work all right so as you can see hopefully uh, I have a new setup. Uh, you can still see this camera here uh, for filming. Hello, down here. But I also I'm using my brand new phone. Hopefully the video quality is really good, and this, hopefully the sound quality is good, because uh, I'm gonna probably be using the audio off of that, so I don't have to sync it with my mouth off of this. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm so excited to open these. I've already pre-opened them. And we're guaranteed, I believe, one relic, autograph, or autograph relic. Now, now, of all the ones that I've opened in the past, I've yet to get an autograph or an autograph relic. It's always been uh, like a jersey or, or holiday sweater piece. I think I pulled like a Chris Bryant bat card last year. Uh, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a little field test and try and find the uh, relic first because I want to save those for last. Let's enjoy the cards before we get to the big show. There it is. There's the hard one. So that's that's that one. And then out of the second stack, let's check them out. Hopefully this music I'm playing uh, isn't copywritten. It's supposed to be on a live channel. Uh, live perform music. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm talking over it, so hopefully, if not this, it's filler. So let's get going. I'm excited. Let's check these bad boys out. Oh yes. Now that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Now in years past, this card set has been very basic. They've taken just the basic set and and just did a little bit around the edges of, from what I remember. But this one they've really overhauled it. I like the ornamentation. Uh, throughout the card and then you got the little candy cane striping this is cool all right this is cool i don't care who you are this is cool <laughs> i know my dad would love it he's big into christmas so uh, hope, oh by the way look at my little buddies my little festive holiday buddies my winter guys they're over there they're ready for christmas and snow and everything and i live in the midwest so we're gonna have to deal with all of that all right jd marches there's my boy albert pujols heck yeah first pack I hope he retires and works with the Cardinals again someday. All right, we got Byron Buxton. Yermin Mercedes. Wilson Contreras, the greatest catcher in his own mind. All right, we got cards upside down. Rafael Devers. I think he had a pretty good season. JT Rumuto, one of the perennial best catchers in baseball. Jesse Wanker, I mean Winker. Oh, and we got Justin Verlander and Colin Moran. I may have to go back through these so, because uh, over the last couple years, they've been a little more subtle with the uh, holiday variants. So I uh, may have to go back. And if I hadn't already gone over the trick, if you missed the short prints, just look at the numbers on the back of the card, the, uh, the bottom next to the tops.com where it says code. If the number on the back is different different there than most of the other ones, like all of them should have the same code unless it's a short print. 
which will have a different code, and that's how you find it. That's how I found my uh, Trevor Story last year. <laughs> I didn't even know that the grass had snow on it. All right, so here we go. We got Dalton Jeffries, rookie. Dustin May had a really good season out of the pen this year for the Dodgers. Gary Sanchez going to be replaced by a young guy pretty soon, I think. I actually pulled an autograph of the guy who I'm speaking of, whose name escapes me at this moment. We got Christian Javier. Oh, okay. I think this is probably uh, a short print because it's backward in the pack. Oh, look at that. Our first short print. <laughs> That's cool. Christian Yelich with a Santa belt. All right, so that'll make things a lot easier to find these uh, suckers. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Uh, if they're going to put them in there backwards, but they, they've kind of done that in the past. So Carlos Correa, the god Brandon Lowe, Eric Hosmer, he's fallen off the planet. We got a rookie of Andrew Young, and finally Zach the Madman Granky. That dude is loco. Bless loco. Boy. But you know what? I like him still. I, li I like crazy ball players. All right, next pack. Here we go. We're not wasting any time. The Madman with the two colored eye, Max Scherzer. We got a Gio Urshela. Randy Rosarino. Hey, White Sox, Tim Anderson. I feel like they've used that pose a few times now in cards of him. Got a sideways card. Oh, yeah, it's a little embossed, too. I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So, yeah, some of these cards, the uh, the snowflake bits, are actually a little bit embossed. Or is that just the set? Yeah, this one's, like, got a... Yeah, it's got, like, a glitter to it. I, you probably can't tell on the camera. But that's uh, Brady Singer. Uh, Braylon Marquez. Gilberto Celestino. Q. Brian Hayes. Hopefully the future of Pittsburgh. I say hopefully, but I don't really care. I'm not a Pittsburgh fan. Marcus Stroman and Max Kepler. All right, keep rocking and rolling. See how many of these bad boys we get with these uh, alternates, these parallel short prints. All right, let's see. There's Alec Bohm, David Pearson, Peterson. I spoke wrong. Mookie Betts, Yohan Moncada. All right, we got another one, and it's oh, it's an Alec Bohm. All right. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. He's got a candy cane bat. Cool, Alec Bohm. Uh, All Star rookie alternate. That's probably a decent card then. Cody Bellinger, another guy falling off the earth. Got Ha Seong Kim, rookie card. Looking like uh, it's been airbrushed a little bit. Speaking of Trevor Story, there he is. And we got a rookie of Devi Garcia. And the final card of that pack, the world champion, Freddie Freeman. I like that guy. Not a Braves fan, but that's the third, that's like the second time I've banged into the camera since I've started. That's the problem with having the camera right here in your face. Which is like, why even have the face cam if it's blocking me? But you know what? I like to look at you guys. I like you to see me. And I like to show off my Santa hat. Actually, this is a terrible Santa hat. It does not fit my head good at all. All right, Luis Robert. And then we got, look at that. <laughs> that has definitely been shooped. Shoop de whoop, Photoshop. Tebert T Ruiz. Christian Pache. Cheater. Oh, we got another uh, little snowflake sparkle man i just i don't know we'll see in the post-production if that pops at all but we got chris paddock snowflake card we jazz chisholm rookie card cool matt chapman one of the best third basemen in baseball uh defensively this year not so good dalton varsho diamondback rookie mike yaskrimski and justin Longevity, Upton. Dude's been around forever. Wonder how much longer he's got. Uh, oh, all right. Start off this pack with a bang for me. Paul DeYoung, my boy. 
And we've got an upside down card. All right, let's flip that around. Oh, I saw another Cardinal under there, under Whit Merrifield. We're having a Missouri run here. Oh, the ageless wonder, Adam Wainwright. My favorite baseball player of all time, my man. Bryce Hoppe. Evan White, rookie card. Corbin Burns had a pretty good season. <laughs> Miguel Sano doing a salty impression, although that's probably just dirt off the mound, or the, the warning track. Blake Snell. Uh, we've got a couple more cards going the other direction. And Luis Alexander de Sabe. And Kyle, Corey's brother, Seeker. That was one of my favorites from uh, the uh, fa uh, player day or whatever. I forget what the terminology for it was. Where they got to wear like specialized jerseys with nicknames and stuff. And I loved it. His was Corey's brother. Because at the time his little brother was surpassing him in popularity and talent. Hey, we got Max Fried, another pretty good ball player. Glaber Torres, more power than average. And defense. Jesus Lazardo, Michael Brantley, another solid ball player that went to an evil team. And we got another Snowflake card. This one of Esteban Florial. Good photo. And White Sock in Eloy Jimenez. Let me get that back in screen. Tristan McKenzie rookie card. Casey Mize rookie card. Luis Patino. Or Patino? Yeah, it's got the uh, accent mark. Patino. And Anthony Rendon. I think he was hurt most of the season, which certainly didn't help the Angels. Unfortunately, all they had this year was Shohei Otani with uh, old uh, Achilles calf Mike Trout out most of the season. All right, so here we go. Ryan Jeffries... Jeffers, apologies to Ryan. Chris Paddock. Uh, let's see, Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah, I realize I'm leaning because I got the camera in my face trying to see the card. Probably looks weird in the, up on the screen. Anyways, oh, another snowflake card of Nathaniel Lowe. Is he in the same pack? I just remember seeing that card not long ago. And we got a Nate Pearson rookie. David Peralta, solid ball player. Jack Flaherty, another Cardinal. I'm enjoying the Cardinal heaviness of these packs. Oh, another couple of cards that are sideways. A Dansby Swanson and perennial all-star and former Cy Young winner, Jacob DeGrom. I hope you're enjoying this set as much as I am. And the good tunes. This is good stuff. Can't wait to get to those last two packs and see what I got in them. All right, we got a... Nick Gordon, rookie. Andrew Vaughn. Matt Olson. Joey Gallo. Ooh, we got another short print. And this one's of Javi Baez. What do we got? We got a Santa belt. Oh, that's just silly. <laughs> it is Javi Baez, El Mago, the magician. The best tagger in baseball. All right, we got a Corey Hoover sideways card. Juan Soto. Oh, there's a cool-looking card right there, a Trey Turner. You know, that's another thing. The update series was a little disappointing that they hadn't updated the actual uh, teams on these guys. I am so happy to see an updated Trey Turner. Not because I'm necessarily a Dodger fan or a Trey Turner fan. It just means they actually made them recently. <laughs> so a new product isn't just... You know, standing by on its laurels or whatever that phrase means. Uh, anyways, Adbert Alzale. I always thought his name was Albert, but I was wrong. And Jed Lawry. So far, all right. In the first box, we got three variants. So that's pretty good. What's that? Is there ten packs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, eight. There's eight pa Oh, well, I guess nine. If you include... Let me look at the box. Uh, yeah, 10 packs total. So, I think I opened one from the other stack. So, that means that out of 10 packs, not including this, got three alternates. It's not bad. That's a pretty decent hit rate. Because those are uh, 
probably what one and a half two and a half two times the value of the standard card maybe maybe more depending on the player Garrett Cole we got Miguel Cabrera Chris Bubik Another good thing I've noticed so far, I haven't had a lot of duplicates. I've duplicated on, I think, one of the alternate cards, but as far as the basic set, I've not had dupes, and that's always good. Alright, there's Bieber, and there's Yazio Guriel, Austin Meadows, just turn it sideways, Kyle Isbell, Eddie Rosario, making an impact in Atlanta this year. Walker Bueller and Josh Pelagio. Pel Pel Pelagios? Yeah, it's a G, isn't it? I don't care. Who cares? It's Toronto. Get out of here, Toronto. Stupid Toronto. Nobody cares, Toronto. Alright, next one. We got Jose Barrero. Jared Walsh. Hey, all right. There's a good-looking card of Nolan Arenado. Elvis Andrews. And the Elvis Andrews Snowflake card. <laughs> that's cool. I guess that's one way to do it. I used to love his shenanigans with Adrian Beltre. They'd post like, uh... Oh, there's a duplicate. Oh, okay, his back half pack is a duplicate. But hey, it's like a duplicate of Flaherty, at least. And DeGrom and Dansby Swanson. But uh, yeah, him and Adrian Beltre, they were just clowns out there and just enjoying baseball. It's always good. Like, I would rather see guys out there having fun than like these stoic D bags that go out there and it's like, this is a job. It's like, no, it's a game. You're getting paid millions of dollars to play a game. A game that any one of us out here in schlubs in the real world would do for free on that stage. So. Act like it, you know, act like you're supposed to have fun. Hey, there's Jared Kalinick. I think he's on the co yeah, he's on the cover of the package. So there's our rookie of Jared Kalinick. And we got Xander Bogarts. There's Bobby Dalbeck. Jose Ramirez. Garrett Crochet, rookie. Another Cord Cooper. Okay, we're getting some more duplicates here. So we've seen these cards before. Trey Turner, Albert Alzley, and Jid Lowry. But we are in the second box at this point, so it's okay if you find dupes there. But so far, I have not seen a variant in this second box. All right, Francisco Lindor. All right, these are new. John Nagowski in a Pirates uniform because he didn't stay in St. Louis very long. At least not long enough to get a Cardinal uniform one. Kyle Lewis. Zach Wheeler. There's Kyle Seeger again, but this is the Snowflake variant, so this is not a duplicate, technically. But here we go with more dupes of Austin Meadows, Kyle Isbell, Eddie Rosario, Walker Bueller, and that guy with the weird name that I had trouble pronouncing. Urgh. Okay, sweet. It's always good to see a new card on the top of the pile so that I know I'm getting new cards to look at. George Springer got Taylor Trammell rookie card. This one's upside down. Uh, Victor Robles. Connor Abro Brogdon. Okay. That's a new name to me. Oh, and oh, sweet. And it's Freddie Freeman in a Santa Belt. Santa Belt heavy. See some more candy canes, folks. Come on. But hey, that's still a short print variant so that's really cool got alex verdugo hey these are new alejandro kirk ah. well that was alex kirilov for a second there and justin turner there you go all right we're down to the last four packs of the standard packs before we get to the relics looking i'm excited i'm, I'm feeling good i think this is going to be the time when i pull the auto what do you think <laughs> Probably not great odds. I imagine they're not not very prevalent. All right. Cedric Mullins. Dalton Jeffrey. 
Oh, we got Dustin May again. We're running into duplicates here. Gary Sanchez. Bad Jared Kalanick. Snowflake card. Very nice. There's Ronald Kuna Jr. Ryan Zimmerman. Jorge Ona. Ona? I assume I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mitch Hanniger and Michael Kopek. Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> getting old. Getting old, guys. You know you're getting old when you hurt yourself opening packs of baseball cards. Ooh. Oh, 36 is the new 84. All right, Gio Urshela. Randy Zarina. We got an upside down Tim Anderson. We've seen these before. Another Alex Bohm. Another, was that Eloy? I'm looking around the camera. Yeah, that's Eloy. Oh, okay. Got some new sideways ones. Ian Anderson. Brady, well, that one was. Brady Singer. At least I thought. Esteban Florio, Guriel, and Kevin Biggio. Actually, that was kind of a mixture of new and old. Oh. La da di, la da da. Alright, David Peterson again. Rookie Betts. Go on. Luis Roberts. That guy. This guy. Oh, Andrew McCutcheon. Cody Hewer of Chicago. Ozzy Albies. Hey, the like fourth version of this card now of. <laughs> Dylan Carlson, but that's a Christmassy version, and I like it. I like it a lot. My St. Louis boys. And Ian Hap. All right, last pack. Last pack of the standard packs before we get to the relics. Glad you came with me along on this ride. I'm having a good time jamming out to some lovely jazzy Christmas music, opening some cards. It's a good day to be alive. Christian Pache. Alex Bregman, another Paul Dayong, Whit Merrifield, which, if I remember correctly, means that underneath this card is another Adam Wainwright. I was wrong, it fooled me. But it is a snowflake card of Xander Bogarts. I suppose I should have pulled those aside. Aaron Judge, holy cow, big boy. Shane McClanahan, Jackie Bradley. And Corey Seager and Chris Bryant, and probably his first card uh, wearing a San Francisco Giants uniform. Uh, you know, condolences to the Cub fans out there. Sorry your team blew up. But anyway, here we go. This is the the big show. This is the number the two the two that we came for. Let's see what is inside them. Actually, real just realized that out of that last box, I think I got two. No, just one, just one alternate, or uh, I keep using the term alternate. It's uh, parallel, huh? So it worked out to two per box. Oh well, it's gonna make up for it right here. We're gonna we're gonna have an auto. All right, Andrew Benatendi. You got Hyun Jin Ryu. And oh, all right, it's a cardinal, a Santa, a Santa jersey relic. Now I'm a little disappointed. You teased me with the picture of the powder blue Saturday jersey, the victory blues, but then you gave me the white one. But nonetheless, I am very happy about that card. That is really cool. Look at him. Hey, of all the cards I could have pulled, at least it's a cardinal, right? Because if it's going to be a jersey card and no auto, let's make it a good one. Huh? All right, and finish off the pack. Devers, Real Muto, Winker, Verlander, and Moran. Moran. I might have to go back through the pile later. Maybe I missed one that wasn't backwards in the pack. Who knows? Now, this one feels like it might be extra stiff. I wonder if this could be a jersey auto. That'd be nice. Although I see the blue of the card, 
could just be a standard. <laughs> Alrighty. This guy. Scherzer, that guy. And, oh, it's a Miguel Cabrera. Alright, no auto. But at least it's a future Hall of Famer jersey card. This one's a gray. Obviously, because Detroit wears gray a lot. And Miggy. Oh, John Lester in a Cardinal uniform. <laughs> That's a sight to behold. Dane Dunning, Fran Mill Reyes, Giancarlo Stanton, and Paul Goldschmidt ending on a Cardinal in the Victory Blue. Love it. I love it. So there you have it. That was a new 2021 Topps Holiday Box. Um, I really like this set. Uh, I like that they did the ornamentation along the entirety of the card this year. And the candy cane striping around the edges. Uh, I, I, yeah, I really like this. <laughs> I like the holly. So anyways, let's see our parallels. We pulled three uh, Santa belts of former glory, Christian Yelich. And then we got Javi Baez and Freddie Freeman. And then our candy cane bat of Alec Bohm, rookie garden. That could be a hot one. And our two relics that came guaranteed in the box was Miguel Cabrera and Paul DeYoung. Good looking insert, if I do say so myself. But that's what you come to expect from this set. There are no inserts, but I love the cutesy nature of the holiday packs. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that opening, and if you did, please, by all means, go give this video a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and do so. And don't forget to ring that bell for notifications when future videos are posted, including pack openings and Let's Plays as, uh, as, uh, as we go along here. And uh, I hope all of you have a safe and happy holiday season. Uh, I'm going to say Merry Christmas. If you don't like the term Christmas, I'm sorry, but I celebrate Christmas. I love Christmas. And so does my buddy Flint. Say Merry Christmas, Flint. Charmander. He can only say his name. Anyways, thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.